welcome to the Chi Channel. I'm Mary Kay and this is my kitchen. Now, I hope you all saw the episode where we went over to my neighbors and milked the goats. They also have a wonderful garden. Look at the size of this zucchini. We're going to stuff these zucchini today. This is what we're having for dinner. Pat's here to help me. Pat, you want to come in now? Yeah, sure. Hello, Mary Kay. How are you doing, sweetie? Mm. Pat's the one that grew these wonderful zucchini. Well, we've got some obnoxious zucchini here, and you've got a good recipe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. First thing we have to do is we're going to cut the zucchini in half lengthwise. Okay. And we're going to pull out all the pulp. All right. So, these have already been washed. Take off the end. Oh, for the chickens. <laughs> Remember, there's chickens too. Stuff them. Yep, kind of like this. Yep, just okay. scoop it all out. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get this one a little more even. Oh, I don't think that matters. That one should be a nice one. It's nice and uh, yeah, this one's nice and, and even. Yes. They're pretty easy as long as it's in the middle where you have all the the seed kind of soft pulp. We're putting that in the bowl because we're also going to use this. Really nice. We're softening up our zucchini a little bit, the shells. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of this stuff together. Oh, yum stuff. So, we have got our zucchini that we scooped out. Yes, our pulp. We're going to take a little bit of well, the oil we're going to put in the pan. So, we're going to put some onion. Here you go. And the spatula, we'll scoop it Let's out, ma'am. Take that. What's next? Our pepper. Okay. Today I'm using the yellow pepper. You can use green or red. Or I mix. Or a mix, yep. I just thought this would, with all the other colors, well, this would make Well, you've got tomatoes it, uh, here too, so yep. that'll be your red. Alrighty. Okay, garlic. We've got yes, two cloves of garlic, minced. Mm mm mm. It smells yum. Alrighty, and we're going to put some cubed mozzarella in. Oh, fresh mozzarella. And this was fresh mozzarella. Oh, it's always so much better when it's fresh. Oh, now, if we thought about it, we could have made goat cheese. Yes, we could have. And we could have used the goat I've, cheese in this. Well, we could have done goat cheese. I've made, I've made a mozzarella with my goat cheeses, uh, goat milk, as a matter of fact, too. That's going to be another show. Okay. <laughs> That'll be a stretchy show. That's a fun one to do. You, you put the citric acid in, and that's what gives it the stretch. And it's, oh. it's just a whole fun thing to do. Yeah, it looks a lot different when it's fresh yep. than when I uh, buy the, the stuff that it's already hard yeah, and like hard. hard. Yeah, <laughs> cardboard. Okay. What you got going on? Mushrooms. I got my chopped mushrooms. There you go. I like the way you do these. You know, everything's already done. It's nice. It makes it go a lot <laughs> faster. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got some soft bread. What was this now? Soft breadcrumbs. I just okay. took a few pieces of bread and okay. just... Man, we're going to have some mixed stuffing it up. in those... Uh... Yep. That's a lot of stuffing. Now, we're also going to... You want a spoon? Let me look at this here. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. There was a lot in here, and I didn't think it was going to fit into my fry pan, so I've got my wok. This wok is 37 years old, 36 it's, years it's old. It's well seasoned. I was given this as a wedding present. Uh-uh. Now, now you're letting us know. That many years, huh? <laughs> okay. 
So now what we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to saute all of this. We're going to put some oil in our pan. Alrighty. Now if you don't have a wok, what could you use? Like a little frying pan? A big, big frying pan. pan. This, okay. is, this is a lot, okay. so that's why I'm using the right. wok because it wouldn't fit in my fry pan. I have to get a big fry pan. Okay, gotcha. It's not usually quite this much, but mm -hmm. those were big zucchini. Saute this and we'll be right back. We've sauteed our onions, peppers, mushrooms. We've added the cheese, the breadcrumbs. We're going to put in some grated parmesan. Grated this is fresh too. Okay. Been busy. We're going to put in some parsley, some basil. If you're using fresh, you can use more of it. I didn't have any fresh today. Put in some chopped tomatoes. Okay. And then we're going to mix this up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Mm. Waste not, want not. <laughs> I love the way it's so colorful. Oh, it's yummy, too. Mm. That was a great idea. Now, we're going to put this inside the shells. Okay. And I'll get those right now. Okay. Okay. God, those are some huge zucchini. We are now going to stuff these with this. Yum. Okay. Those are definitely some big zucchini. Yes, they are. Yeah. I, I was taking them out of the garden yesterday and said to Mary, okay, come on over for dinner. We'll have zucchini. She goes, I know what we can do with these. We'll stuff them. So, hence the stuffing show for zucchini. Yes. So make them nice and fat, huh? Oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff in here. So. <laughs> Let me see that. Ooh. In there. Okay. Now what we have over here, we'll mix together. We have some, let's get some seasoned breadcrumbs. Some more. Parmesan cheese. Get you a little spoon. Mix this together. You know, I think maybe I don't have quite enough of this because these are big zucchini. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get some more. Okay, I think we've got plenty of topping here. All right, well, there we'll you just go. Sprinkle this on top of it. Oh my gosh, this is looking so great. Look at the colors in there. Yum. It's all walking out here. <laughs> See what I mean about the yellow peppers? Oh, it's beautiful. And then you got the onions and oh. So we have yummy. the red tomatoes. So now do we broil this or we put it in the oven at 350? Uh-huh. For oh 15 minutes till everything is, um, all the cheeses are melted and it's they're, it's kind of softened up. Mm -hmm. We can put it under the broiler to brown it if we want to. Okay, but you don't want to let the zucchini get too soft. Right. You want to keep it tender, crisp. Right. Okay. Yeah, it won't hold the stuffing. <laughs> I bet you still come out great. <laughs> now, we're going to sprinkle this with a little bit of oil. Okay. Why don't you use your spoon? And use it for drizzling. How's that? There you go. Yay! And I like to use the light um, olive oil. Have you ever tried grapeseed oil? Yes, I have. That's good too. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been using lately and it's, it's delicious. I just saw that in the store the other day. Yeah. yeah. Palm seed oil and grapeseed oil. And Oh, oh, the grapeseed is really good for you. Whoa, that is oily. <laughs> good for you too. So we're going to put this in the oven, okay, for until it's all melted, okay, 15, 20 minutes, and maybe stick it under the broiler a little bit. Yep. We'll be back. Yum. 
we just took this out of the oven. We had it in there 20 minutes. Mm. We put it under the broiler a little bit to brown it. I think now it is ready to eat. Oh, the boys got the steaks on. Yummy. Oh, good. Good. Now, we are also going to be doing some other shows with Pat. Okay. We're going to make some cheese. We've already milked the goats. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen that episode, please watch it because yes. I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it was your first time. You did pretty good for your first time. <laughs> but so we're going to make some, some cheese. Uh-huh. Um, some yogurt. Uh, I just made some yogurt cheese. We're going to have oh, some good. of that for dinner tonight. Okay, good. Uh, we'll be doing some other shows also. Um, a lot of different things. And... We're going to take this over and we're going to eat this. Yeah, who cares about future shows? <laughs> we're <laughs> going to <laughs> yeah, we're going to enjoy. So, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.